On the face of it, there is something rather strange about human psychology. Human beings live in a state of mind called sanity on a small planet in space. They are not quite sure whether the space around them is infinite or not. Either way, it is unthinkable. If they think about time, they find it is inconceivable that it had a beginning. It is also inconceivable that it did not have a beginning. Thoughts of this kind are not disturbing to sanity, which is obviously a remarkable phenomenon and deserves more recognition. The perception that existence exists invalidates the normal personality, as does the imminence of death. Now if you see that it is inconceivable that anything should exist, it is evident that at least one inconceivable fact is there. That is to say, 
that which exists is not limited to the conceivable. Since the inconceivable is there, it is impossible to set any limit to the quantity of inconceivableness which may be present in the situation. Now were the existence of anything consistently to remind you of the fact of inconceivability, since it is impossible to live without interacting with a large number of existing things, it would be impossible for you to feel in the same way about the conceivable. If anyone were reminded of the inconceivable by the fact of existence at all constantly, he would sooner or later have the perception that there may be inconceivable considerations, which are inconceivably more important than any conceivable consideration could be. Now if you do have a perception that any conceivable consideration may be utterly invalidated by some other consideration which you do not know, and if you are reminded of this perception constantly by the fact that things exist, certain modifications take place in the way you feel about things. These modifications have not taken place in the psychology of most people. this is intolerable. One has a limited time and apparently limited capacities with which to find anything out. Therefore it is possible to despair. There are many orders of despair and none of them are known to normal psychology. This is demonstrated by the fact that it does not become existential. Normal psychology will never devalue anything. Existential psychology, at least to a certain point, consists of exploiting the recoil from the despair of finiteness. The recoil is a drive with at least the instinctive immediacy of the survival instinct. There is no point in saying, what is there to do? What could such a drive possibly tend towards? The survival instinct tends to prolong life the fundamental drive tends to inform itself about the universe.
Berliner Straße. Okay, in der ist es gar nicht. 
Thank you.
Il déclare que si Dieu n'existe pas, il y a au moins un être chez qui l'existence précède l'essence. Un être qui existe avant de pouvoir être défini par aucun concept. Et que cet être, c'est l'homme. Il n'est rien d'autre que ce qu'il se fait. La subjectivité, c'est le premier principe de l'existentialisme. Perception of the unreality of reality is the beginning of psychological realism. <laughs> The only constant is change. Feel free to change your mind. Choose a different future or a different past. <laughs> 